Microwave Buzz, an improvised sketch comedy podcast recorded live in Maui, Hawaii. Aloha. To learn more about Instant Microwave Buzz, go to IMF Maui on Instagram. Support us on Patreon under Instant Microwave Buzz. And now on with the show. Come on in. Hi, Hi. how are you? Hello, um, you must be Seneca Venice. I am. I'm Seneca Venice. Oh, I'm Olivia. Still Seneca Venice. I'm Olivia. This is Terry, my husband. We're your 230. And I have to say, um, me and Terry and the little one to be are just so excited to meet with you. We've been interviewing different midwives, and I just have to say, I mean, Terry, you can agree. We, we've we heard nothing but amazing things about you. You come highly recommended. Like the midwife of the Midwest. That's what everybody says. They said not mids on this midwife. Heard it all before. How can I help you? So I'm just wondering, are you free on October 12th? Because that's really when I would love the baby to be born. I know we can't have medical intervention, but... That is something I'm pretty set on. You guys sure you want a Libra? Oh, we can oh. we can pick. Uh, I mean, let's, let's do some paperwork first. Okay, okay. Yeah. What what do we got here? Um, wow, this is quite a stack. It's a it says this is a legal release that we are well aware of your past medical emergencies during childbirth. What is that referring to? I mean, the birth is a sacred emergency. Hmm. Oh, okay. I've never never thought about it like that. That's what I'm here to help you understand. But this says something ab- uh, about an- forced amputations. Interesting. I do need to talk to my lawyers about that when I wouldn't. Has that been a problem? It's definitely, I'm not ableist. Okay, yeah. we aren't either. Yeah, yeah, but it actually has like a, a newspaper clipping here that says, "Crazy, crazy midwife goes on cutting spree." What is that referring to? It's it actually it's a it's a photo of the article in the contract. That's John. What the fuck? Yes, ma'am. Yes, what? Yes, what is it? It's your two thirty. Yes, explain this paperwork. That standard issue paperwork, if I could just, let me just look over that. I, it, this, this is pretty, sta- I'm so sorry. Well, I've never seen an, an ar- anything like this in a contract before. Okay, okay. I just, I, John, go back to the Word document I sent you and just print that out. No, nothing special. It says pursuant to the okay, law. Okay, can't answer that. I'll be right back, man. I'm so sorry. Well, uh, you, you see that? I met him on Tinder. Oh really? Oh, yeah. You're off your your front desk person you met on met on Tinder. Okay. He is hot. Exactly. Hotter than my ex husband. <laughs> well anyway. and if he's I guess he's good at technology if he can download an app. Exactly. I noticed exactly. no shirt also. He's not wearing a shirt. Is this this is not it's a semi medical facility, I guess. We don't like using the term medical in here. Mm. I don't like using the term semi, but I had to use both just now. What do you call it instead of medical? Oh. The, the internet's down. What do I... John, I don't know. I'm, I'm midwifing right now, so maybe you could mid-secretary right now. Okay, there. Wow. He is eye candy, though. He is, I gotta exactly. say, man, he, he and I likes when I talk like that. At first, yeah. I thought he was wearing a sarong, but then I saw the the tag on it just said queen size. So you just have him wrapped up in a in a sheet. Yeah. Is that your Ferrari or is that his Ferrari in front? I'm a little offended. You would ask. I, I assume it's yours, uh, but he just seems like the flashy type. Um, you seem a little bit more down to earth, but you're you're definitely not what we thought you were going to be. Well, what? Let's talk about your expectations. 
uh we will as long as it's a healthy baby uh we're, we'll be happy um i'm expecting a midwife that helps us give birth i would say that's an expectation interesting interesting my um my cousin said that i should ask what do you think we should expect from a good midwife so you guys are trying to keep it yeah uh, w- oh. y- yeah yeah oh. Yes, do John. Yeah, this is the um, emergency uh, procedure, and this is the bill for the detailing on the Ferrari. There you go. Thank you. You just put it on my desk. Put it. Put it. Put it on my desk. Oh, okay. Oh. Namaste. Was it lime green when you bought the Ferrari? That was custom. You did that. Yeah. Wow. Is that like well, your John color? Did it, but... Well, yeah. He. He he sprayed it, or he drove it. No, he painted it. I think that's yeah. why his nips are green. I think. Yeah, I have to say, um, Miss Seneca, you've broke about fifteen pencils during our conversation. Is there? I feel like there's a little bit of pent up anger, aggression. Is, is everything all right? Birthing is a sacred passageway from one portal to another. So I'm here to prepare you for this agonizing journey into motherhood that doesn't end even when they turn 18 years old and they stay living in your house even though your boyfriend wants to move in. <laughs> and, I'm sorry. Seneca, it's it's okay. Um, I don't I'm, know if it's okay. I'm an occupational therapist and I can tell you this we see this a lot. You're having a midwife crisis. Oh my god! Has anyone ever told you that? I don't often see consultation except with the my my archangels and guides. The divine. Uh, the divine. Yes. And the guide. I'm so fer- happy you understand. Yes. yes. The divine. The divine has never said that before. And the guy. She wouldn't lie to me. The guy at the Ferrari dealership. You also contact him as well. Yes. 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 He's he's a. He's a good man. He's a divine yeah. guy, too, it sounds like. He was definitely sent by my guides to manifest what I want on this plane. Is like, that Brandon from the Ferrari dealership? You know Brandon? Yeah. Um, yeah. He, I know he him and as... I just had a oh. F lane. How the hell do you know Brandon? I mean, it's... It, remember when we took that... Bra- oh. <sighs> Come on in. Um, did I hear correctly? Because I'm on... In the other room, you're having a midwife crisis. What? What is that? We, you have such. Google a s- it. All right. That's we're meeting. Okay. That sounds like it's amazing when the side piece doesn't get it. That's you know. who. Your three o'clock just checked in. Okay. Well, can you use some of that charm on them? Okay, we're finishing up here. I think I could help you with your midwife crisis. Um, I think you might want to rethink your career in general. You you mentioned keeping it. You know, you could go into abortion. Thank you, Brandon. I'm not Brandon. I thought that was the baby's father's name. So he's the car dealer's name. You're- I also have accidentally called my husband Brandon during sex sometimes. Now he gets that it's the uh, the Ferrari dealer. All right. Um, yeah, I'm actually wondering more and more about abortions, actually. More and more. You do have the energy of a man who would raise another man's child. Is that what you were here to I also get that energy about? from yeah. him as well. Yeah. Cuck energy? You're saying I'm a cuck. Stepdad energy. St- I'll be in the car. Don't worry, I um, I, I got it. I um, oh, yes. ooh, my hands are a little full, but don't just, worry, you can stay seated. I um, can I t- can I? What which one did you get me again? Uh, you want you wanted the pale L, right? Well, I did say Hefeweizen, but I'll take the pale L right now. That's fine. Okay, yeah, I just cool. 
This yeah. place is awesome, isn't it? This yeah, is totally. This is such a nice vibe. And I honestly, I love the equality that you see me with, that you aren't like, oh, I'm going to be gentlemanly and go order the drinks and order the food. You're like, no, you 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 made me go yes. order the drinks and food. Yes. Oh, what are you doing? The, uh, the Golden State Warriors just scored. Uh, no, nah, it's cool. What was you, what were you saying? Oh, just that I appreciated that you viewed me with equality and value in the way yeah. that you asked me to go absolutely. pay for the food oh, and the drinks. Oh, absolutely. It's, this is, couldn't even be in a better place uh, right now. You actually keep looking at my chest. Um, huh? My, I'm... Hey, hey folks, you, I'm Rico. Um, looks like, did you already get served? Rico. Yeah, he, he, this is my, uh, your, my date Jeremy told me to, this is a first date. Sorry if you can pick up on that. It's a little bit awkward, but he he told me to go order at the counter. Oh, have you guys never been here before? He said he's been here a bunch. Actually, yeah you you were here last week. Um, you're the you're the you're the equal packet tipper guy. Dude, is Rico even like a real? Is Rico like a real? Na- Your name's Rico. Yeah, man. Cool. Um, oh, hold on, look out, dude, look out. Yes. It looks yes. like you guys are good Sorry for now, uh, but if you guys need any help, I'm Rico. So I didn't need to go order at the counter. No, I'm here, and um, we do work on tips, just so you know. We do work on tips, okay? okay. Wow, thank just you. Just the tip. No. <laughs> just the... <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's yeah, that's. <laughs> I love a guy with a sense yeah. of humor. I'll be back. Okay. Do you have, did he bring a menu or something? Um, no, I ordered... The food that you said you wanted. Oh, because you I, did. Because you told me that nice. they don't. Dude, that, that I needed to order at the counter. Dude, seriously, you look fucking. You look good. You look fucking good. Thank you. And um, what about my like, personality? That is one of the reasons why I brought you to this place because this is like a totally cool vibes place. Wait, what? I'm uh, I'm so stoked that you you know you asked me out on the date. It was it was really cute the way you messaged me on Tinder and you were like, "Hey, bitch, what Whoa. are you doing tonight?" And I was like, "This guy's got a sense of humor. He's got a sense of humor." Well, yeah, I didn't mean to say that, but I th- I just was like trying to be cool. So nice. how um so did you just pay at the counter or something like when you ordered? Is that- um, I st- I. St- I started a tab. I didn't close out yet. You did leave a card, though. Cool. Okay, cool. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, so tell me a little bit about your last relationship, Jeremy. Mm, it was pretty epic. Um, it's probably one of my better relationships that I've had. But she's a bitch. Okay. Not oh. the kind of bitch that, I, like, when I texted you and I was like, What's up, bitch? Let's go out beer, please. <laughs> so not a cool bitch like me, but not like... Not a, a baddie like you. Not a bad bitch. Okay. She was like a, a fucking straight up bitch. Wow, what happened? What um, ended the relationship? She had a kid or something. I don't know. Um, who's, I have no idea what happened. Whose child was it? Yes! Oh, that's so awesome. That was is it, so awesome. Was they it, scored again. Was it your child? or? Sir, what? Is this your um, Uncle Baja Rico? Poncho on the ground here? Did did you knock that off? Did you knock that it's over? It's covered in beer. Oh, maybe I did actually. When I was carrying all the stuff back to the <sighs> table, my hands were pretty full. Is it, does it say drug rug on the back of this? Hey, bro. I mean, I'm. It, it, we're just. Did can you just give me that? Thing yeah, pick, here it just is. I'm it just, can you actually? Can you please keep it off the ground because it actually almost got caught in his crutches when he was going to the bathroom just now. That dude's fine. He's not. He's even fine. Injured. He's not even injured. Sir, he's probably sir, faking it. See, Sir. he's a, he's not an ableist. He he just views everybody as like being super physically. A- I love that about you. That's amazing. Yep. You don't see disability. He doesn't see disability, sir. Sir, uh, just keep your woven fabric poncho thing here on the seat if you could. Sure. Okay, Rico. Yeah. What's up, dude? You know what's up? We remember you from last week. Everyone here was here that day. He's probably making that up. I've never been here before. That's why I like this vibe here. Uh, I was like, let's just come here. We hey, all he know her name, dude. We know who she was. Hey, we're he, friends with her. Bro. He's like not even 
like a real guy or a real waiter or something. I mean, I'm pretty sure you don't even need a waiter here, right? Wow, I have to say, they uh, what I've read in dating books, it's really important of like how a man interacts with wait staff, and uh-huh. um, I love that you just treat the wait staff here just like friends. You know, you guys are just like jiving yeah. back and forth. Like, What's a dating book? Like they have those? What like a book? Yeah, but like about dating. Like, yeah. Like information about like tips or something. I read. I read a book mm-hmm. called "The uh, Men Are from Kentucky and Women Are from Las Vegas." That that sounds like awesome, dude. The uh, did you hear that the Oakland uh, Athletics are going to move to Vegas? Now Vegas is going to have a baseball team too. Yeah. Sir, did you Woo! steal those I croutons? Been... This what? Those croutons that you just put behind your elbow. Did you take those from the bar over there? I was going to ask you a question. Did you knock my poncho off of the table and spill beer on it? On Anyone purpose? walking? It's it's enormous, sir. It, it's so big a donkey could wear it. I didn't have to touch it. You walk by it. It starts breezing around like a curtain. And by the way, I called her and told her, you're here. Well, I was going to ask a question. Jeremy, what is your love language? Like sports talk or something? Like sports talk radio? Something so like that? So words of affection. Like touchdown and... Physical Home touch. Run, run? Those are mine, too. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Yes. This is why we're getting along so well. Like, I'm going to definitely leave you a good uh, score on Tinder or something like that. Is that what you do? Uh, yeah, like, we rate? just, like, keep dating if we like each other. And so you're just so, just so I'm clear, you don't have any weird past Ooh. baggage with an ex. Is that Jeremy? Oh, oh who's sh- this? Jeremy. He's over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just everyone calm down. Just Who is this very pregnant woman? I thought you had the kid. Not yet. That was my twin sister, Jeremy. So you believe in family. I'm also a big family person. Okay. Wow, this is amazing. Sweet, and you are sweet. My name he he didn't who he can tell you about the mother of his future child and oh, is your name Westchester and Forty Niners? Cor- current child. Sorry, oh, what? Are you the Golden Gate Bridges? He was telling me a lot about them. Oh wait, no, that's wait. a sports team. That's the Forty Niners, or no, the Golden State Warriors. I don't that's think my that's favorite. important right now. Hey, and you know what? Maybe we're not together anymore. But you know how much I love. You know, sports, basketball, Golden State Warriors, things like that. You know, it's like, so if you could just. I know. He wanted to name his son Michael Jordan. Okay. So what I'm hearing is you're shooting swimmers. I'm definitely packing. Okay. For sure. Okay. For I've got sure. a He's bio- also like- cutting holes in condoms. Why don't you tell no. her about <laughs> Whoa. that? Whoa. Nope, 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 Not nope. even poking holes you're cutting holes never what used, in, never used a condom is... in my life oh never used a condom in my life hey guys uh, my manager says you gotta settle up now dude he doesn't want you in the building ever again well mm. honestly I have to say Jeremy this has been one of the best first dates I've ever had I'm. are you feeling the chemistry I'm feeling the chemistry I would be feeling the chemistry big time if you go ahead and settle up and uh, we can get out of here. Absolutely, absolutely. And would you, do you want... Um, something to go? Yeah, yeah like I a cheeseburger, get... like a gorgonzola mushroom burger, something like that. That'd be awesome. Yep, and like um, a... it's okay that the bun's normal? It has to be gluten-free. What? It, it has to be gluten-free, dude. It's like... Are you fucking kidding me? He, he does get a tummy ache if he eats gluten. Yeah, it's burping. You're fucking, so... you're gluten-free? Yeah, dude, if you could just No, I got order I have of boundaries gluten? in a relationship. I have boundaries with the people I'm dating and you Wait, what? you're gluten free and you just didn't mention that from the, the get go? The first date is when you tell somebody about yourself. That's you were trying to tell me nothing but good stuff about you and now I found out you're gluten free. Yeah, it's like pretty normal these days. I mean there's a lot of gastrointestinal kind of track oh my- things going. I'm going to post about you on some pretty choice Facebook page. No, don't do that. You waited until the end of a date to tell me you're gluten-free? Don't don't do that. Oh, my God. I can see why you left this dude. 
Oh, I mean, his whole family has celiacs. It's, oh my yeah. God, celiacs! Check, please. No wonder you're such a flaming asshole. It's all of his sons have celiacs too. It's amazing. Damn, dang. Hello. Oh, hello. How are y'all? Oh, if look. you guys are from County Water, I'm going to tell you right now. Who is it? We don't care. We are. We do not view the county lines that you do. We do not have access to that much fresh running water. So when we tap into a fire hydrant, it's ours. Ma'am, I promise you, I, I am not from Walcott County at all. My name is Clayton. Hello, Clayton. And I... Ned, who is it? It's Clayton! Who? Not County Water! Son of a bitch, okay. I, I'm here because I want to show y'all a little something that might make your lives easier. If you're like that flasher that went around town last week, I do not want to see it. That I, thing was little and sad. I promise you this is something big and it's going to make you real happy. Big and happy? This is... Have you? What, Carl! Get out of here! All right, just let me finish up. What what is your name, ma'am? My name's Nag. Na is that short for Nagdalene? It's short for Nagmatic. Nagmatic and sir, uh, hi. Uh, my yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, hey, you hey. must be Carl. Who's this again? Carl, pull your pants up. Dang. This is Clayton. He's my from not the county. I'm not from Walcott County. My name's Clayton. I'm actually here with a company called Johnson's Products, and I know that y'all signed up about 12 years ago to receive a Johnson's Product catalog, or maybe it was the previous occupants, but I was just coming by because y'all are on my list for door knocks today. Did we today. sign up for that, though? 12 years ago, Carl. Pre That's when you were with Mag. Aren't you? You signed okay. up for this little fucking subscription service I thought you were with nag. another woman. I'm I'm Nag. That's he was with Mag. Oh, is that short for Magdalene? It's short for Maga, unfortunately. Oh, she was a great woman. Well, the most beautiful woman. Well, if but I, I love Nag now. It, he well, loves me now. It's that's a beautiful story. But what I I just want to show y'all something. At Johnson's Products, we make all sorts of things. Everything from detergent to ketchup. Everything from fine clothing to your regular old boots. Look at well, they, we, Nag, they got Billy mowing the lawn over there. Well, we, look at him. He's doing so good. We He's do like to hire us. You know. We do like ketchup. Carl well, here is a ketchup eater, but I love ketchup. We do not believe in fine clothing. Well, and I noticed that y'all folks have the tractor and the thresher back there, and it looks like you got about two hundred. your business. Looks like you about got about two hundred acres of sorghum as well. And I just wanted to suggest that maybe I have a product that could make your lives easier. What do y'all think? What's the product? Well, it's from Johnson Products. Do you ever feel like technology has passed you by? You could use somebody that could maybe field your emails, maybe answer all your social media gripes. That is true. I get about three emails a month, and I am overwhelmed. I'm and overwhelmed with my comments online. I'm always reading these articles. and He gets, Carl gets quite present in the chat groups. Yeah. Well, have y'all folks heard of Chat GPT? Oh, yeah. Oh, that thing's taking off, that isn't That was it? what Nancy was talking about at the bank the other day. You can just type in stuff and the little machine just talks right gonna, back at you. It's going to basically take over people's jobs and stuff. Well, a lot of people here's the thing. What if you could hire somebody that was so good they could take over other people's jobs and that person only costs you a one-time fee of twenty nine ninety five in the form of an app on your smartphone, which I see both of y'all are playing Wordle with right Wait now. Wait a second. First so of on. all, I am playing Candy Crush. Pinecone. Second I of all. I just got Pinecone. Second of all, this person that we're hiring to do this work for us are they a United States born oh. citizen? Oh, that's the best part, madam. <laughs> Made right here in the United States. The USFA, baby! It's an app, madam. It's not even a person. It is a personage, and her name is Sagdaline. And Sagdaline is a 
big part of our new push at Johnson's Products. You can ask her to do any task, ask her any question. She is up to date, and she will tell you the best course of action at any time in your business, answer your emails, even chat with people on your social media. I noticed your farm social media, you haven't posted in a while. It's mainly just Wait, retweets. You've been looking at our social media? I, I research all my potential clients before I knock on the door. Is that legal? For, absolutely, sir. For example, I, I know that your sorghum is mighty tall right now and you're ready to harvest. What if I could help make that easier? What if I could help make the commute easier and your connections with the next person in the supply line easier? You want a beer? I would love a beer, sir, but I want to introduce you to I, someone. I feel like I just need to put this out there. We haven't been that present on the farm social media because I forgot the password. I thought it was Mur Murica 1776. Okay, let's try this. And then I this. tried 1776 Murica, and neither one really worked. Can nah, your tech it, nah, help just, with that? Hey, Stop she, your yapping. Let's try this. Can we? So you said we can ask this thing any questions? We can do that. What she can just I, said. Can I at, like ask ask this thing? What is it called? A nap? It's an app. Her name is Sagdalene. Okay, ask. It's Matt, an acronym. Ask Ragabedine. Uh, what's your password? Sagadeen! Sagadeen, what's my password to my account? Hold on, it only works with my voice, but so I have to type it in first. Ask her, Sagadeen, what is the password to my farm Instagram account, Saggy? All right. Hello, current resident. Thank you for your inquiry. Passwords are one of the things Johnson & Co. has to offer Consider being a member. We take your security seriously. See, isn't that amazing? Any question you ask. Ask, yeah, a, ask her. That didn't ask even her, answer. Ask Saggy Dean where Carl was late on Friday night when he said he was caught up at work when we both know the mill closes at 7 p.m. and he came at home at 2 in the morning. 2 in the morning. Okay. Thank you for your inquiry. We love late nights here at Johnson & Co. Let us be a part of all of your party needs. See, she's an MLM LLM. She's a tell large her, language model for a multi-level marketing campaign. Tell her I want names. All right. I'll do the voice activated version now, okay? <laughs> Sagdalene, give us some names. Who was Carl with? Ask her. Who was Carl with last night? We need names. You've asked for a list of names. At Johnson & Co., we don't give out names. We take your privacy very seriously. And with a membership fee of just nineteen ninety-nine a month, you could get some names. Okay, See? now we're talking. Isn't that amazing? It holds on to your anonymity until you pay. I would love to sign up and know I can get some names about who Carl has, was wait with. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This thing ain't told us squat. Yes, it has. It sir. ain't. Because we need to pay, Carl. Here, watch wait. this. Watch this. Sagdalene, what is the greatest detergent on the market, and why can't you find it in stores? Thank you for your inquiry. The greatest detergent on the market is only available in our catalog you need to mail in a check to get it. Don't forget the postage, and it is for members only. Are you folks ready to mail? Nineteen ninety nine ninety nine. Ready to mail it in? You ready I'm to cash it? I'm ready to in? do nineteen nineteen ninety nine. Uh, do you have your checkbook, madam? I do. Always on me. All right. No, no, no. I'm the man of the house. I keep the checkbook. I keep all records financially and uh, you social. You don't even know how to read, Carl. Dang it, God. Okay. All right. Let me ask you a question. Can I do a voice go activated? Ahead, go ahead. Will it voice activate? Here, let me train it to your voice. Just, I'm going to press this button here. So what do I do? Go like this? Ah. No, 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 no. You have to say a specific thing oh, to okay. it. Okay. Okay. Press the button and say, "My mother sat upon very fine ships. Those ships were sailing into my brother's hips." Say that. My mother sailed upon many ships. And those ships sailed into on um, my and the brother uh, and uh, brother's the, chips. The, the, the hips. All right, it'll hips. 
I think that'll be close enough. It might misunderstand some of your verbiage. What's that noise? Is it loading? That's the loading noise. It does that for about... Oh, hey, it was way clicker than I thought. All right, go ahead. Ask it. Whatever you want. Uh, So is the Patriots going to beat up on my Broncos or is the Broncos going to win? Welcome back, Carl. So nice to have your business again. Patriots and Broncos are always available in the Johnson & Company coupon book. Which comes with... See, now you just cracked her up. You cracked the damn machine up. See, Look Carl, your question was so dumb, even the AI started laughing. But how, how can hey, you expect but, it to know the future, sir? Wait, let me ask it Wouldn't one you more question. Okay. See, this on is that why instead? I nag on Carl all the time. Carl, ask a question that's not dumb as rocks. Okay, I'll ask a real important question because I liked where that was going. Uh, uh, Sag the Lamb. Uh, how many coupon books are available upon subscription? Hi, Carl. Thank you for your inquiry. Would you like to learn more about our premium membership with unlimited coupon books? Unlimited? It's, Dang, unlimited? It's only fifty nine ninety nine a month. We'll take it. Thank you. You're welcome. Instant Microwave Buzz is a weekly improvised sketch comedy podcast recorded live at the Fuzzbox Studios in Lahaina, Hawaii, on the beautiful island of Maui. To learn more about the Fuzzbox Studios and their mission to encourage, inspire, and empower individuals in developing their creative visions and by providing an environment to cultivate their skills and talents, check us out at fuzzboxproductions.com. Check out our website for instantmicrowavefuzz.buzzsprout.com. You can find us on Patreon, YouTube, and Instagram under Instant Microwave Fuzz. And you can find us on all the podcast platforms. Support the show on Patreon at Instant Microwave Fuzz. And big thanks to our patrons, Will, Alan, Paul, and Laura, thanks to all of you. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.